Right, welcome to first look at Operator 8. Uh, I was uh, given this key for free on a key mailer and I've not heard of it before, so we'll uh, get a look at it, see what's, uh, what's involved. One thing I did notice though is that uh, I received an achievement for starting the game, but only 97.8% of players received the achievement. I don't quite understand that one. One thing as well I did notice is that um, it will basically forget all your settings um, every time you log in. So it's running at 4K when I told it not to. And also there is no V-Sync or anything like that. So it was running at like 300 frames per second on the intro screen. So I forced uh, V-Sync and a max frame rate on it to stop it just chewing up my GPU as it was uh, trying to do. Operator 8 is the name of the game, and it's described thusly. You are an elite mercenary known as Operator 8. A, a distress call came in to the agency claiming death and chaos on the moon Triton. A location few have ventured to. The money's good and lots of aliens to kill. What's not to like? Smash, shoot, decimate, destroy these alien foes you rake up the riches. Uh, with each kill to upgrade your arsenal and operate suit, use a variety of weapons, special attacks and grenades to ensure that you fight back the alien threat as you make your way through the horror filled station. I can't talk today. As you can see, it's uh, the full 1.0 release version of Operator 8. It's taken them four years to get to this point. So let's see what happens. Greetings, Operator 8. Welcome to the Operator Mothership. Start tutorial and achievement aboard the vessel. This facility is used to house and train the finest operators known to mankind, and you are the best of the lot. As you have been made aware, the Moon Triton has been invaded by a nomad alien species with a matriarch hive mind leading the invasion. They are known as the Telkar. We believe they are after the resource currently being mined on the Moon called Savantoi. This crystal has strange properties and is being used as a power source, sold to the highest bidder at incredible amounts. Your mission is being paid for by those very profiteers who need to get control of the facility back. Your mission is to infiltrate the prison block on the moon and make your way through until you find the hive mind. Destroy it at all costs. As you know, you are paid on a per kill basis. Being an operator is an extremely dangerous but profitable profession. I have a feed that links straight from your helmet and I will be running logistics on the operation. We are currently hovering in orbit on Triton. The high bind has taken over the base's defense system and has used it on any ships we have tried to send to the surface. Our only hope is you with your tiny dropship, which should be mostly undetected by the defense systems. Complete the training program and move through to your dropship when you are ready to head to Triton and take on the Telkar invasion. Good luck, Operator. Okay. Some weird thing with when it said the word Telkar here, it glitched out. But um, So, basically sounds like Doom, but Doom crossed with... I don't know. Getting coins. <laughs> Okay. Let's be up a little bit. I don't think that actually changed. It's gone to 4K again. Why? Just remember my settings when I apply them. I bet it's just fine. Don't need 4K. It's unnecessary. There's no apply button, so I don't know if that's actually going. It still feels spongy as fuck, does that? Okay. Ugh. Read any PDA achievement. I didn't get achievements for just doing anything. Operate rate personal log one. I've arrived at the operating mothership. The accommodation is fairly lucky no matter how long is it a complete mission without my brothers for this one. Operate nine would love this one, but so be it. I go in alone. I've learned about the invasion of the Telcar on the Moon Triton. Not the planet well, I used to do protection and security services there years ago. It's different now though. It used to be a junker moon, not anymore. I found some sort of valuable crystal that's properties of energy storage generation. That kind of thing always attracts trouble. I didn't understand it, so I telcar invaded the base. 
have themselves. I don't care much about who gets it in the end, I just need to get paid. I'll be heading to the surface soon as I understand uh, this Telcar hive mine is not to be negotiated with and attack me on site. I need to pray for battle. I've never seen any Telcar before. This will be interesting. Okay. scattered around certain locations. Be sure to find them and read through them. Some PDAs contain valuable secrets. Okay. Credits can be found around certain areas and used at the shop. Who runs the shop? Oh, these are doors, are they? Plan operator through was assigned to me on previous call on Mars. I had to look at saviors as small and a couple of times. Don't like the guy's reckless. Being an operator is more than just killing and cash. It's more about maintaining balance in the universe. We aren't just some ragtag mercenaries with the best souls our universe knows. Never understand that stupid child. I've been doing this longer than he's been alive. Maybe I'm being too harsh. I was uh, once young and foolish. This works not for clowns. He will die if he keeps on like this. <sighs> Killed about 130 crablings, so I expect a big payout for this one. The Mars winter is hectic even on the best gear, but we all made it out fine in the end. Size of that gun? So I'm still on the operator ship here. Operate 3. Oh, my pay comes in soon. I'll shout 5,000 credits back on Earth. Maybe operate with as much as I can do against whole Mafia. Anyway, they've got about 65 kills on that last call, so it should be good. Might even have some extra credits to spare. Let me wipe out an infestation on Mars. Can you believe that shit? It's pretty easy, though. These crab looking suckers really don't like to be frozen in their holes. Operate 5, jump in that one. It's pretty deadly. Not really good company, though. Job done. I want to go back home for a bit. Operator 2! Why does Operator 8 get his own room and I'm forced to sleep with these idiots? I love them, but damn, I need some space. I know I'm a junior member here, but I've proved myself many times. Me, uh, Operator 4, 6, 9, heading out to the Eastern Ocean on Celadus next week. I must admit, I'm a little bit scared. I'm not the best swimmer. You know the gear we have to keep us going. Apparently, the naval base has been established beneath the sea, and we're to make contact to check for hostility there, but try to establish peace. I don't believe we'll face conflict, so the credits will be low on this one. Okay, so basically, they're all off on jobs. It's good to see that, you know, space trash. Spend credits at the shop if you need to replenish your vitals. Oh, have I got 391. Can't buy any key cards. Ammo. Ammo. I might buy a health pack. Uh, I've got enough to get something that's 150. Uh, oh no, hang on. Uh, yeah, buy oxygen. Might do. Okay. Ahead lie hologram versions of barrels and crates that will be found on Triton. Destroy wooden crates. They sometimes drop usable pickups. So if they're hologram versions, why have they got real things in them? Constructor Mark Brown work log. Train facilities function again. There seems to have been electrical pass uh, through issue causing the holograms to not display correctly. They must always be glitching behavior from time to time. Please instruct all trainees to ignore this behavior. Slight electrical shots may occur and wait for the next landing for the repair of these issues. Okay, so usual things that you expect to explode, explode. So you have to press to pick up. Which might be a little annoying if um, you're in the middle of a fight, but I kind of see why. Have an overheat and cool down by Be careful when firing at enemies to not overheat your weapon. Use the clone pods that are found on Triton to clone yourself and assure rebirth if you perish in the field. If 
achievement. Just click on that. Oh, we have a limited supply of oxygen. Jumping and stomping uses. Watch out for flesh entities and dead bodies. They might be infected. Okay. Kicking. Follow your compass on the bottom of the HUD to make your way through levels. Guns have two firing modes. Left click. The next room will spawn holographic enemies to test your combat skills. Defend yourself. Okay. Yeah, gotta remember to pick shit up. So Chief Grenade. Uh, torch. Uh, middle Mouse Grenade as well. Right, it's the end of the tutorial. Operate 9, fill the agency, operate 1 and 4, deceased mission on Silverstone, Sour, and operate 1 and salt the grobbling right so his face executed him while the rest of us had to watch without weapons false removed from us operate for then charge at them unarmed and uh to his credit kill three of them using on his bare hands got weapons back before he was stabbed in the back one of those fucking things at that point all hell broke loose went to frenzy with my shotgun me and operate six killed over 20 of them before the rest fled into the ocean this will have extremely negative connotations to the agency extremely sorry that this happened another operator one operate four with flesh and this batch of trainees coming at the program this one hurts two more of us gone for nothing i'll request leave i don't know if i'll come back all right can we get into the game now you also have grenades that you can use to control yeah, larger groups of enemies press g to use these Some doors can only be opened with a colored key card. The door ahead is one of these. Find a green key card to open it. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read all the logs over here all day, but there is obviously some kind of plot. I mean, we're still in the tutorial here. Eh? We'll actually get into the game. If this tutorial goes on for an excessively long time, I'll skip to the game. Cages sometimes contain special items, but you'll need a key card to open most of them. Mind has taken control of the security systems on board the entire mining block on Triton. Watch out for turrets and other devices that now see you as the intruder. Okay, they're fairly easy to avoid. If your battery runs out, it will be difficult to make your way through areas. Be sure to keep the lights on. Vital stations are markers on the map to track your progress and show the way to the next section or objective. They also fully revitalize your vitals. Okay. This torch view is kind of annoying. It doesn't... It's just a circle on the screen. It doesn't actually work. It's... Yeah. Upgrade stations are stations where you can spend your credits to upgrade a number of elements for your vitals, combat skills, and general skills. They will become vital as the enemies get more difficult to fight and survive. How big is this? Are we on a ship here? How big is this? Right, we've got a flashy light in here. Is this actually the way out? In some outdoor locations, there are drones that play around. Shoot them down to loot the contents that they carry. These are usually vital and ammunition. Press M to open up your map. I mean, look how long this fucking thing is. 
There's no way I'm only just here. <laughs> right. Can we just get to the game? Please. In the top right of the screen is your mini map. Use it for basic navigation. Make your way to your dropship to start your descent into Triton. Alright, I've got the achievement for launching to the surface before I've actually done it. It's good. Right. Steer the ship high enough above the surface to avoid the automated turret system that has been corrupted. Once in the prison block, make your way through to the laboratory. There, see if you can find any survivors with priority on Professor Strauss. Look out for special weapons. This is basically the plot of the Doom movie at the moment. like the design of that ship. You couldn't really see it so well with the dodgy fog effect, but it's quite cool. And you're going to get hit. Oh, now? Yep, there we go. <laughs> it's just down. It's like fucking Looney Tunes, like, oh, no ground. Ground nose first. Okay, so we're finally in the game instead of just the training thing. I do like the aesthetic of it. Um, it does remind me very much of the older um, first person games Wolfenstein, uh, Blake Stone, that sort of thing. So, I do like the aesthetic. I don't like the torch. It's a bit annoying. It's kind of better without it. Um, but clearly, we need it for something. Uh, crosshair's a little bit annoying. Uh, but, in terms of the, the audio, I do quite like the music. Um... Gun doesn't don't really have any impact to it. We'll see what it's like when we get better guns. Uh, prisoner logs. Sort of telling us that things are everywhere. Oh. So, there's no sort of indication of what may or may not erupt into uh, worms and stuff. Which is quite good. Keep you on your toes. Uh -huh. Wow. Picked up a machine gun. 
with a sight. Telcar egg or infected pod. So this UI along the bottom is actually quite difficult to look at because the the icons and the numbers are quite far spread out. Maybe consolidate that a little bit. You got all this real estate at the top of the screen not being used as well. Hello. Spitter. Philatelka seep or thwack. Stinger. Floater. I'm getting achievements. Two achievements for just killing one type of thing, so. I'm not really sure what type that was. Uh, in terms of the achievements, the achievements are literally just do a thing that you will naturally do, but like immediately. Uh, there's no sort of sense of achievement in getting it. You know, I literally had one for start the game, start the tutorial, pick up the gun. They're all right, but I don't need an achievement literally every time I do something. It's not immediately obvious who will explode into worms and who worm. So. Still one left. Okay, so they're basically by proximity. God damn it. The machine gun's act acting a little bit like a shotgun as well at times and kill like two things that are side by side by shooting between them um, it's fine I suppose uh, right let's buy a key card blue I don't know if we need it uh, what else we got could also buy a red and a yellow I'm just short of buying And a purple. So we've got one of each now. So we'll be able to open anything we run into. Okay, my armor level's low though. Don't have enough credits to clone yourself. Oh, well, I didn't know they took credits. Okay, but we know there's one in sick bay. Like I said, I ain't got time to read through all the thing, but I appreciate that there is like some kind of plot, not just mindless shit shooter. Another sick bay. How many sick bears do you need? Achievements for destroying different types of turret. I mean, if you got three different turrets in the game, it's extra achievements. I don't think it's really needed. Oops. Oof. Oh. Oops. I didn't see what these spawned from. I 
town. Right? So the tentacle things release bugs and poison. Got no armor now. One thing I want to do is next time something turns up I want to let it damage me because I'm not really getting any feedback that I'm taking damage, especially around my armour and things like that. I haven't noticed like the screen flashing red or anything like that, so might just be me, just not seeing it. Myself to get damaged, huh? and then didn't. Right, there's something in here. Uh -huh. Right, you hit me. Okay. Just don't think I noticed it. Hell. Oh. Hell. Oh my God. They're a fucking pain. I forgot what the stomp button was. What was the stomp button? I can't remember. Gun's overheated. I think. Okay. Controls. Stomp. Q. if I find it in here anyway but space toilet and it's pretty big Again, this way, so let's go back up here. How do I know where I haven't haven't been? Hmm. 
send on FPS somehow. Okay. So, so I've been here. So how do I know where I haven't haven't been with the map? Kind of would expect the map to evolve over time. So is it because that room is greyed out on there? I've not been down here. Yes. Stand under the door. <laughs> He's got a key card, blah blah blah. Okay. <sighs> Run out of ammo. Come on, door. Okay, so, um, obviously, there's probably not really going to be a cut-off point for this, um, but so far, uh, yeah, I, honestly, when I saw it was sort of like a retro first-person shooter, I was actually thinking, well, it's going to be a bit crap, this really, but... It's all right. It's uh, all right. So we need red key card for that. Oh, why am I gun not working? Because I ain't got any ammo. This is a uh, newbie era. <laughs> Okay, that maybe wasn't. So <laughs> I think we found a good point to maybe end it. So, <laughs> um, doesn't seem to want to kill me. Even the map's gone. Right. Okay. I think that's a good point to leave it. So, um, yeah. Other than a few little glitches, it did say obviously that there might still be some. I think overall, it's pretty good. It is as of November 2024. 40% off, £7.67, normally £12.79, probably worth the £7, I don't know if it's worth £13, uh, obviously don't really know how much more there is to it, but from what I've seen, yeah, it's alright for a few quid, so go check it out, Operator 8, but we can't really do anything now, so I don't know if I can... Nope, I can't even kill myself. So, there is a restart from stasis pod option. So, there we go. So, at least I can get back there, although it just cost me money. Um, my FPS appears to have absolutely tanked, though, from, from that. I don't know if that's from dropping out the level or what. So, bear that one in mind. Other than that, just watching. Catch you on the next one.